Well, good morning and welcome once again to uh, Ed's Orchids. Uh, before I begin, I'd just like to thank everybody for the good wishes they've sent to me. And uh, said I'm, I'm feeling uh, a bit under the weather yet, but uh, we'll be all right. I, I mean, I've been told to uh, isolate myself for seven days, which is a bit of a, well, you know what is. So uh, I'm doing that, but I've done four or five days now, so... There's not long to go. Anyhow, let's get back to the subject of the uh, the Fragmapediums that um, I'm having trouble with. Uh, just to spend a bit of time, I've got to uh, have a look at these, uh, a few more frags now. The one in front of you is an Andean Fire. And now, I've had this a long time. I've given a lot of uh, divisions away of this one. Uh, so I'm just going to take out this one out of its spot and uh, see what problems I've got with it. Well, we'll take the label out. And let's have a look at the plant. The media seems okay, isn't it? But, uh, right, let's have a look. got a lot of bad roots on it as well. So it's got to be something to do with keeping them indoors. It's got some nice growing tips on it, but a lot of dead roots. So this is going to get some, uh, some new bark. Start to take it, does it? Don't seem to. F it looks like it's coming apart into two uh, two different plants here, but uh, I'm trying not to split anything these days. Right, we'll get the scissors. And we'll start taking the bad roots off. I don't think there are as many as. Uh, as there has been, but uh, we'll see what it's like when it's finished. All the bad roots seem to be branches. Look at that. soft at the bottom so I'll cut it back to where it's uh, it's still live that's one that wants cutting back right as near to the base as I can another one here another one here and it's got to be something look at that There, then we, then we know where we are. And there's more. Bad roots than I thought there were. But this one, this is bad. Just got to trace them back to the right back to the root stop or uh, but you got to get rid of them there's, there's quite a few new gross on it coming quite a few bad ones you 
see that it's very very soft you can squidge it but I've gone up to there where it's hard so I just cut above there have a look at it yep that's green there so uh, that'll do so I'm going to do this on virtually every route till I get rid of them another one there I don't know what I'm throwing them on the floor for because I might as leave, well leave them on the table here because uh, I'm going to throw all that lot away. A lot of the uh, the bad roots are branches off the other roots. I know it looks like a bit of a a disastrous job this, but uh, something that has to be done. Now then, to find out where that comes from, there it is. And what's it like? Soft right up to the top. Now that's a, a big one to get rid of. afraid of cutting all the bad roots off and uh, I read somewhere years ago that, uh, that someone said leave the dead roots on because the new roots will feed off them well I thought well I've never heard as much rubbish in my life but I don't know it might even be true Enough snipping in front of the camera. Well, I've taken all the dead roots off, and uh, this is what's left, which is enough for it to survive. Uh, you can see it looks like it uh, it can be split there, but I'm not going to split it because it's just joined at this thick root stock here, and all these uh, it's very hard there on that rootstock and uh, you can see actually where uh, the divisions have been cut from over the times all over the place if you look round here you can see there's a new growth there nothing else showing there we'll turn it round hopefully with one hand yeah there's a new growth there and a little new growth start in there. So well, we'll get this potted up in some fresh bark and uh, that should be fine afterwards, hopefully. Well what I'm going to do, seeing as I've chopped all these uh, dead roots off and it hasn't got as many as they had before, I'm going to chop the bottom of these roots off. Uh, they'll grow some more and uh, I'm going to put it in a smaller pot. There we are. It's a good root. I don't like cutting good roots off, but uh, if you've got to do it, you've got to do it. So we'll put this 
on the fire. Back in here. I'm not going to split it because uh, I've finished splitting them now. I think I might have said that before, but uh, I do change occasionally. This is all a nice, uh, nice clean bark, so uh, it should do very well in here. I won't be taking them indoors next winter. The only ones that did well indoors were the cat layers. They did magnificent under the uh, the Morris Hydro light. You know the S SP uh, SP one hundred and fifty. I think I have. And it's absolutely wonderful like that. So I'd, I would recommend the uh, the SP150 to anybody, especially if you're growing indoors and cat, cat layers. They grow like mud. And it's a, it's a very, very bright light with no heat. So uh, that's another good thing about it. Right, this is getting close to finish now. That's it, put the label back in. Clean the label up as well. Put that back in, the hand in fire. I'll give it a little watering. In a and the other one here is uh, Warsawixianum. It's got a leaf that's got so big it's uh, fallen over that I haven't attended to. So I shall attend to that later and get it, get it to back up there. But this has got uh, a new growth that's going bad, so this needs the roots looking at as well. Hey dear, it looks like I'm going to have to do them all. looking bad. I don't know. What should we do? We should just take this off, peel it off. Is that? That new growth seems pretty well stuck on there so I'll not bother with that. We'll just check the uh, Just check the roots. Haven't found any soft ones yet. Here we are. Bound to. Trouble is when you get a lot of roots around here, it's uh, it's difficult finding where they start and and where they finish, so you just have to snip off until you get to somewhere that's uh, that looks 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 quite alive. And oh, that's nothing. Oh, that's a bit soft there, so we'll nip that off. Oh, the roots are quite long on this, so I think we'll we'll give these a trim across to start with. Then we can easier find the uh, the bad ones. Well, as I've done before, I'll switch the camera off because you've seen all this a hundred times. So uh, I'll 
I just cut the camera off, get rid of all the bad roots and then come back to it. Well I've trimmed this Warsaw Wixie Arnhem and the roots are quite good. There's bits of bark still stuck to the roots that I can't get off. But you can see, look at that rhizome there. Going right up to the growth. There as well. Do you know, I'm looking through uh, the thing, I'm not looking through the camera at it again. Uh, there's no active new growth on there. And this is the pot it came out of. I've trimmed all the roots down, so I'm putting it into a smaller pot. And see how it goes from there. Well, hopefully, this should fit nicely into this pot. Plenty room at the bottom for it to grow. And this bark it came out of is fine. So I'll reuse that and then I've got to prop this up somewhere, haven't I? It's still quite moist. This uh, this bark so to this one again probably tomorrow. Give it a good smack. They call love pants. But there's not a lot of love between me and these plants at the moment. But we'll get it back. My fault, of course, but we all make mistakes, don't we? No matter how long we've been keeping them, but I think I've been keeping orchids well over 50 years, and I'm still making mistakes. This I don't like. I think eventually that's going to rot off and fall off, but we'll. We'll see and see what it does. I'll tell you what, I'll put a stick in that. Whoopsie daisy. And we'll see if that will grow straight from there. May do. May just straighten it up a little. So, nothing more to do with this one, only. Uh, Put the label back in. I think we've not put it back into the same pot. I've uh, I've said a bit of gravel. Gravel. A bit of medium. There we are. That'll do for another one. So uh, how am I gonna prop this up? With a big stick. That's the only way I can do it. And I'll just have to tie it round there. So we'll see if we can hold this up here. Uh, how shall I do it? Yeah, I'll make a little ring here with this uh, this wire, soft aluminium wire. Let's get it right, and then just take that round here. That's it. And then a few weeks that should uh, that should have settled and be nicer there. That's uh fragment pedium or so weeks the animal.
So it looks like I've got a thorough clean up job to do on all these uh, Phragmopediums. So uh, I'll just have to get on with it and do it. Some more somewhere. Oh, yeah. Anyhow, we'll just get on and do it and, uh, and uh, see how it goes from there. I can't do any more. Just check the roots. Take all the dead ones off, give them a bit of clean bark if they need it, and uh, hope the change in the weather uh, does the job for me. So thanks very much for watching, and thanks again for all your good wishes, and until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye.